Hey everyone, welcome back to Gear Facts. Today we're going to do some sampling on a Korg Triton LE and the way we do that is by installing one of these. It's an EXB SMPL sampling upgrade board and I'm told they open up a whole new world on your Korg Triton, so let's put it in. Okay, here's our inverted Korg Triton LE. Luckily Korg have made this pretty straightforward for us. There's the door under which this upgrade is going to go. If I turn you slightly upside down and we have a look at what's on the back there, we see pitch blackness. No, we just get a little bit of a shot of the filled in cavities where the sockets for this sample board are going to come through. Have a look at the back of your Triton LE, you'll see exactly what I mean. The first thing to do is get a screwdriver in and take away those metal covers. and they spring out at you like that. It's quite tricky to remove these because as the board springs around, the screws will move with it. So this is the last screw and it will cause the cover just to fall off inside the machine, but that's okay, it's not gonna hit anything else. It'll be quite easy to open the other cover and simply reach in and grab it. There we go. The back panel is way easier. It's just one screw and it just opens like a door. There we are. Let's have a closer look inside. First of all, there's our cover plate at the back. It's quite easy to reach in and just pull it out. On the right, you'll see our connector there for the actual board, which corresponds to this cable right here that's hanging off the end of it. And a couple of mounting boards here through which you put some screws and that'll hold the board nicely in place. Okay, so let's put this board in. There's some cables running up the side here that are a bit bunchy and need to be really packed down against the circuit boards underneath them. Again, there's nothing there that's fragile or gonna get damaged. You just need to free up a bit of space to get this switch particularly to fit in its socket. Or its access point, I should say, which we freed up before when we took this plate off. So that all lines up nicely. We're going to put some screws into those little holding points there at the sides to keep the board nice and firm. There'll be screws going into the back here as well to shore up the actual sockets that are right there. And of course, most importantly, and I'll just move the camera for this, we have to remember to actually plug the board into its master socket here. It's a nice comfortable upgrade, this one. Everything snaps in and you're absolutely certain that it's in the right place when you've got it. Screw number one for the holding point. And I'll just check that everything's still on target over behind here to make sure that nothing's gone askew and is getting squished or put in the wrong place. Second holding point, which is just out of camera view now because I moved it a moment ago. Okay, and in theory, that upgrade's ready to go. There's our two screws at either side. I am gonna add some screws at the back here. Like I said, just to shore up that solid structure. I have remembered to plug in the ribbon connector. So electronically speaking, that's all ready to go. Just gotta put the cover back on, put those screws in the back, and we'll give it a try. Just one little note guys, don't do up these screws too tightly when you replace these covers because one day you're gonna to wanna to go back in there again or the next person who owns the keyboard might wanna go in there and it's a real pain if they're trying to get them off and it accidentally burrs and creates a big delay in what you wanna get done. There's no need to have them up super tight. 
Gonna do some sampling. It's gonna be awesome. One last thing, you may have noticed before that I had one of these with that upgrade board too. Really old style RAM upgrade. RAM chips should be able to go behind this board here. Bear in mind all of this is a first for me, so... We'll see what we've got back here. Yep, sure enough we do have RAM. And kindly the person who owned this before me has already given it what looks like a full upgrade. So that's a spare. Okay, moment of truth guys, let's see if it worked. Here comes the power. EXP SMPL, that's a good sign. Okay, let's go over here and press the sampling button. Well, it seems happy to begin sampling. So that's gonna be the subject of our next video, guys. Sampling on the Korg Triton LE. Absolutely brilliant synthesizer, and let's see how great it is as a sampler. I'm pretty excited. Thanks for watching Gear Facts and for liking, subscribing, or commenting on this video, and I'll see you very soon.